What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Wolf, and we're back here, currently at the uh, side of Grace in the rear of the Caria Manor, the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. Now, if we head out back of the Caria Manor, that's going to take us over to the three towers, one of which is Ronnie's. We're not quite ready to do that just yet. I know I was talking in the last video, likely seeming I was going to head up and do that in this installment of our series, but we're actually going to be heading back to Caleb. There's a couple more things to do prior to going out to Ronnie. When we go out to Ronnie, it's going to progress things to the Radon boss fight, which is not a problem at this time because we've already cleared out Redmain Castle, but there are some things that we are level appropriate, I feel, to go do now at this time. So with that, we have the Erd Tree, and there's a Catacomb behind. The Catacomb behind has a uh, Grave Glove Wart 5, or it's a Ghost Glove 5. I'm not sure which one. Um, I do know that that's the next step that we need to upgrade our Skeletal Militiamen. So if you wanted to go plus 5 with them, I would advise doing the Rotted Erd Tree Avatar down here, doing the Catacomb out back. That'll get you access to upgrade your summons one more time. The main thing that I want to start is an NPC quest line. So I'm going to go right over here to Inner Aeonia. Now this is an area afflicted by the Scarlet Rot. So we have access and we found earlier we have Flame Cleanse Me, which we can use at any time if Rot does build up. We also are going to want for this region the Preserving Boluses. Let me actually make it daytime really quick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, until morning. Now I guess to talk about it a little bit, I know the rock swamp's going to be loud, so hang on. We'll actually go over here so I can talk about what it is that we're doing. So we have an NPC coming up who's going to be invading us, known as Millicent. Millicent is with her own quest line, kind of tying into later game events, but it also ties into the town of Celia, right over here. It's the Celia town of sorcery. There's a main gate here, and like right before, I believe it's right here, we're going to have a shack that we're going to look for. Now, if you progress up back, this switchback, I'm pretty sure there's a church right here. That is actually tying us into Millicent's questline and stuff. So we're going to take an invasion here at the lake. We were over here at this grace because it's like right, it's like right here basically. So there's like some clean rot knights wandering about. We'll probably take them out. Hopefully one for sure prior to the invasion because you don't want to have that going on. And then there's a boss fight right in here that we're going to take out. That's Commander O'Neill. So let's go ahead. We got the talking out of the way. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, <clears throat> once again, just to make sure, because I'm not sure, it's actually past time. Let's go till noon. Let's see what, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. I just want to be able to see the surrounding area. So, once again, when you're over here, if you're on, if you're on Torrent, you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about the rock. But what we want to do. Do is definitely keep our eyes open for any of the clean rot knights. You'll notice one right out there. We're gonna wait for it to get a little bit closer. Oh, it looks like we're already being invaded, so let's see if we can get Millicent to come over here. Invaded by Millicent. Okay. And there she is. Alright, so yeah, we'll we'll be in we'll be in good shape here. too close All right and you'll see they're gonna they're gonna come wandering in pretty much right after that so you know and it is what it is with that one i was i was also weighted down i was gonna display a weapon for you guys but we're gonna wait till after this now that that just happened so i'm gonna go ahead and i guess just hop back on the horse it's just after again 
Now, if you stay on her, you'll be fine, but she has the... called a waterfall dance. I can't remember what it's actually called, but... It's a well-known move from a later game boss. Okay, we want to go over this way. And it also, like... It's actually kind of cool that she has that move, because it does tie into the lore of Millicent. But, uh... Let's grab our rooms. See if we can see if we can avoid the uh, invasion for just a second. If you guys haven't got the uh, oh, what is it? The meteorite staff. It's back over in these ruins. You can get the perfumer bottles also. So if you don't have the perfume stuff set and you want to use it, you get it back. Pretty much where I'm looking, I think it's just right back in there. It might actually be on this high rise right here in front of us. So do keep that in mind. Um, let's see. That was actually a good little bank to fight her on, I feel. Oh, here's the, here's the clean rot. Okay, so before we deal with Millicent, let me show you guys these. Oh, no. God. I hate that I can't reverse this sometimes. These guys ain't pushovers, you can farm them for their gear if you want. What's this bug doing? Get away from me. Am I really getting trolled by the- oh, really? Alright, we got rotted because I wasn't paying attention. Pop one of those, pop a heal, pop on torrent. This, <laughs> this swamp is such a pain in the butt. Great dragonfly head. Well, that's good to know. We can farm those up from those. Let's see if we can take this one out first before Millicent comes. Dude, why can't I fucking hit them? Watch out for that. These guys are just going to keep wandering over to us, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. You notice there's another one out there with a great shield, too. Why is... Okay. Oh, my God, are we serious? See how flame cleanse me works, just gets the job done. I'm gonna wait for them to kind of get the hell out of this area because I don't want them involved in this fight. Swamp of Aeonia. Pain in my ass. See if we can fight her up here. I don't really like this, but see if we can make it happen. There we go. Just don't let her heal. You'll be fine. Gotta get you a sacramental bud. Go to room 3, 5, and 10, so. Yeah, and then watch out for these guys, because they be on some bullshit, man. I'm telling you. These dudes ain't playing around. What do you want to do? You fucking son of a bitch. Alright. 
Two more out there. What the one with the... It's not. Anyway, Commander O'Neill is the next big hurdle that's right in all those broken down trees and branches and stuff. But I kind of want to take these guys out too, just for shits and kicks, so. See if they'll separate for a moment. Probably just snipe them from up here, honestly. <laughs> I'll wait for that one to wander away a little bit. See if we can pull this one. Well, that's very strange. Not even moving. Charge up this heavy. Boom! Oh, that worked out really well. Oh, here comes one. Ah. Sneaky little shit. Ah, get off the torrent button. Get off the torrent button. Oh, what the fuck? You'll notice there's a stake of America there, so I think the fight will be alright. Plus, that side of Grace is right over there, too. We should be in good shape. People will stay locked on. Oh. These are kind of cool just to show the move set and stuff. Do I still have rock building up? times I have to hit X. Thank you. I'm trying to use my bolus as I watch my health bar melt down. Alright, well, sadly we didn't get anything from them. Bunch of the Aeonia butterflies, which I believe is needed to make the preserving boluses. Let's actually go check that. Uh, Sacramento Bud, Cave Moss, Deepest River. The main thing that we're going to need is the sacrament. I think there's an area where we can get a bunch of it in a little bit, so we'll be alright. Oh, I got 10,000. Let's go try and take out Commander O'Neill anyway. Um, I'm going to go to my equipment. Should go over to the halberd. The blood plane. I know this swamp's probably just drowning all my audio out, so. Here we go, boss fight, Commander O'Neill. He's gonna summon up some dudes. We're gonna let our skeletons do some work. Take these guys out first. I do like this rot thing that does kind of suck, but no way are you already summoned more.
They already summoned up more. Oh, you still only summoned up that one, huh? Leave my skelly alone. Why is this dragonfly fucking aggro to me? Where's this stupid fucking dragonfly? Get the fuck over here. Damn it. You, the most annoying thing I've ever seen in this area of Kaelid. Eat these nuts, you annoying little fucking dragonfly. Damn it. I hate when stuff like that happens in this game. It's so annoying. I'm just waiting for that thing to swipe down, hit me, and then I get staggered and stun locked, and then I'm screwed. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't go down like that. 22,000. Seven thousand. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, actually. And we need 33.5. Yeah, we should make it. I just want to grab an extra level before we continue so I don't have to stress about all these runes. 30 Vigor, 15 Mine, 30 on Endurance, 28 Strength. We're going to pump that to 30, and then we're going to take Vigor up to 40. And from there, we'll get Dex up to, like, 25-ish, I think. We'll kind of go from there. I may actually end up with this build because I'm noticing some weapons that I want to use that have int scaling. I may actually take some points out of... Well, I guess I can't because I want to use Bloodhound's Fang. So yeah, that can't happen. But we might put some points into Int. Um, 
in a little bit. We'll kind of see how we do. <clears throat> the whole reason right now where I have my FP bar where it's at is so I can utilize my FP and my skills and stuff. And then still be able to call in a summon. Should we take out Radon, we're going to go down and progress through a level that will eventually give us access to a summon that instead of taking your FP, it utilizes your health bar. And you sacrifice some health to call it. So I plan on running what's known as the Mimic Summon, and once I receive that, um, I don't think I'll have to worry so much about Mind. I should be good to go from there. Yeah. There's some weapons in the game I haven't been able to use, but I definitely see their potential in using them. And, uh, you know, I'd hate to miss out on the opportunity to have some fun. Go back over here. I don't even remember what's back over here. Big ol' Garib for your class. Oh, is this the poison area where that wandering one's at? Not poison, the rot area where the wandering one's at? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's right over here. So not that I need this, but, um, you know, it's here. I've been looking for it. Missed. I'll wait for it. Right. Thankfully, Fire Strike doesn't cost much FP. Uh, come on down, you little shit. There we go. Poison Armament, which, uh, poison kind of sucks in this game, but, hey, there it is. Maybe Erd leave. A couple little pieces of loot here. Rune Arc. Got a Grace. Is that a Marionette Soldier? It is a Marionette Soldier. This should be, I think, the, yeah, Celia Understair. Now we're getting into the Celia Crystal, or not Cer Celia Crystal Tunnel area. We've already been there. Um, I'll keep the rot boluses on just to have them. What do we have a ton of? Damn, I have a lot of those. And good scaling. Holy crap, that's A scaling with strength? What do we hit for? That's not bad. Combat again, why? Oh, there's another one. Hey. Hubbard is greater than yours. Not off the marionette guys, but the little uh I call them gremlins. I don't know why, but they're like eh -he 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 -he. And they usually have like a bunch of poison traps. I'm sorry for the cringe attempt at doing their laugh, but it's very distinct. Anyway, um since we're kind of in like a zone that we can chill for just a moment. So I did receive that, the vulgar militia saw. It's good for quality. Also has built-in bleed, so it's a decent weapon. Another one that I want to talk about is the Golden Halberd, which I had not had the pleasure of utilizing before. Oh my goodness. Um, in truth, it hits harder than our Knight Rider Glaive right now, and it's only been upgraded, I think, two levels. It also has Golden Vow, which <clears throat> when you pop Golden Vow, it's a huge buff. Like a huge stat buff. Alright, you notice that dog can build rot? Well, if you want a dog that can build rot, especially if you're doing some sort of rot build, um, we just picked up the ashes for the same rot dog that just bit me. Keep that in mind. But, uh... Yeah, the Golden Halberd. Oh my goodness. I'll just go to Ashes of War to talk about it. 
Oh wait, I can't because we can't see it because we can't change the ashes of war. Silly me. Great weapon though, like, so if I'm looking here, right, if we go over, so this is in slot two. So right now two-handing my heavy Knight Rider Glaive is at 404, right? Vulgar Militia Saw is 206. It's under right armament three in the third column, top right of the screen, if you guys are trying to figure out what I'm talking about. So we're hitting with the Vulgar Militia Saw plus three at 206. We have the Knight Rider Glaive super leveled up because I go all the way with this weapon. I love this weapon, but I didn't realize that I would also fall in love with the Golden Halberd. Now we do have it at plus four, but you notice 404 to 465 at a plus four, right? You look at my Bloodhound's Fang, it's only at 386, right? And it's got a little bit better scaling with decks. So as I level my decks up, that number will jump up fairly significantly. So like we get decks from 17, which is the bare baseline. We get that up to like 20 and we'll, we'll be doing a lot better damage with the Bloodhound's Fang. So just some uh, quick check-ins on gear. And, you know, we have this, but I don't really like the aesthetic of it. We had this for more of the magic. You know, just a little bit extra magic. But, yeah, we'll be in good shape. Now, there's a bunch of casters in this area. Um, this area kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Just a bunch of these guys around. These ones that like to disappear and disappear. You know, we'll be, we'll be running into them all over the place in this area. But we're one-shotting, so that's a really good sign, to be honest. Uh, come over here. First thing, just grab this painting. I never noticed. Oh, what the fuck? see why I was saying this this area is kind of full of some BS especially because these guys teleport around there we go <laughs> they'll usually go for like a sneak attack on you you don't have to stress too much I actually didn't know that that militiaman was right there so what is this that we have spawning in these and I mean you can call on your summons and stuff if you need to if feel that that's a necessity this time main stuff that we're going to be doing is uh there's like rooftop hop routes that we want to hit is that just the cerulean that i'm hearing is it what shiny am i hearing Sounds like it's up top. I don't remember there being a shiny here, but okay. Get you some poison bloom. Oh yeah, it's that probably that huge one. That huge one right over there, Wolf. Pay attention. Okay. Now we just loop back to the stairs where we started. I still don't think. Oh, wait, is there one? There might be one up on top of the tree branch. That might be what I'm hearing. I can't remember. We'll find out together. Oh god, yeah, watch out now. Big double double head mask. Those guys be throwing out some shit that hurts. Poison grease. Oh, okay. That's just that important right now this time. Oh, no, you don't. Oh my god. Nope. Need to heal. Yeah, these ones be on some bullshit. I hate these. Ah, uh, you, <laughs> you little fucker. Where'd you go? Me, <laughs> little shit. Flintstone staff. There you go. I think we already have better staffs and access to better staffs at this point. But hey, if you want another staff, there you go. You can farm them up in combat somewhere. Let's 
Get over here. What are you running up on, bub? What are you running up on? And I mean, this this area isn't terrible. Arteria leaf right there. It's good for, like, lead stuff. Um, you know, this area isn't absolutely terrible. It's not the worst, but it's also kind of annoying. So, if we go... That's towards the gate. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We don't want to go over that way just yet. We don't want to go over that way just yet. That shack, though, is Gowrie's shack. Now, we will head over there at a certain point. <laughs> nice try, boys. Nice try. Can hop from here to... Oh. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine we hit this, though. And just normally hop up there. No. No? Okay. So, yeah, I wouldn't have to wrap around. There's, like... Oh! sneak attack. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff up, up on the roofs. Well, I guess we can just kind of start the roof route. I don't think. Wait. Get off torrents! Jesus Christ! How many times did the fucking press it? I already had one controller fail at the start of my recordings for this. Now we got a second controller on its last wing. What the heck, man? Joystick input sucks. So you can go up there, like grab the seed, but you can also start the route from where we just started. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna just do this the old fashioned way. I think there's some BS on the stairs, might be wrong. Nope, no, no characters or critters up here. So these doors, you may have noticed one up at the start of the zone these doors are what's cleared once you go up top of these areas and you uh you know, there's like an altar that you have to light or a bell you have to ring or what it is but basically now because we've already kind of gone through and we haven't rested um i think now we can start the rooftop route and forgive me we're probably gonna fall and do this a couple different times because i don't fully remember my route but We'll do what we can. Oh, actually, that one. Do this right. Do the right run first. And see, it kind of gives you a little clue. Like, oh yeah, head out on here. Oh wow, how neat. Wow, how cool is this? And you basically just like Skyrim up this with Torrent. Mosey on up here. Alright, there's like little altars that we light. Like the flame. I think there's a boss fight back there as well that will eventually open. Um, now. So one of the seals is now broken, right? It's not gonna let me call him in right here. it this way. We'll do it my way. I would much rather have it be daytime right now, but I really don't want to reset the zone just because of all the casters and stuff, so. We're gonna head on over here. Can I just hop up that? Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, there's a couple guys up here. Oh, there is one of those. Double slash. Oh, well that makes life easy. Get better R2 
swifter than you, no matter how many arms you may have. Ah. <laughs> we're just taking him out for easement so we don't have to like worry about him hitting us with arrows and stuff while we're in the air. So, <laughs> I think, oh, I thought there was one sticking out of my chest. So I think what we do is we hop this way and we would have taken that one out. And then you have like the ball that can be a little bit distracting if you go for it. And then I think we want to go, yeah, right here. Piece of loot. Piece of mushroom. And then right here at the high rise of these roofs, you can usually, usually double jump up. And this should allow us to hop across. Just grabbing some loot. It's the Garib Elm, one that I don't ever use in any of my builds because I don't play int based builds like we've covered. So now we can just kind of double back this way. It's kind of no harm, no foul. So there's another one up there, and then the other one I think is in that tower right there. And we pretty much follow this all the way along in a series or sequence. There's that guy right there. We're going to head up this switchback area in a moment. Oh, wait. It's not the switchback. Huh. Anyway, there's still quite a bit of stuff to do here. So, from here. Or, my left joystick is not registering when I'm clicking it. That's not good. Are. A seal was broken in town somewhere. Oh no, bro. You really not gonna let me go? No, straight across. That's the last tower there. So then, like, from here, it would be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah, we'll grab that. Blah, blah, blah. This is where that militiaman was earlier that jumped down from the balcony. I'm just kind of scouting and making sure I'm not missing any glowing things. Don't want to miss our loot. I'm going to have to double back on this if we don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Now, the good part about killing everything down below right now is we're not going to have stuff spawn up on us. So. You know, you could be up there. And they could hurt you while you're up there. That sort of thing. Take this off. Uh, bomb mark back on. Off torrent. Here is number three. Ooh. I like the blue flame. It looks cool. Now you're gonna, gonna hop on down. So that gate area, once again, you like go through there and then you would head out that main gate and then there's a whole bunch of bs you're like out in caled from that point so again over here to my left that's gallery shack before i go mess around with gallery and we cover that aspect of things i just heard somebody <laughs> Takes us down low. Oh god. They came out first. Spell Drake Talisman plus one. Ooh, we're starting to get some better items here, folks. A plus one right there. I notice that this is now open. That's a boss door. That's not what I want just yet. It's not what we want just yet. So I think the one seal, one of the seals, I think was for that chest. Wait, wait, wait. 
And then there was another one. Oh! Right there. So one of the seals is for the boss room, the other seal is for the spell drink talisman plus one, and the third one, or whichever order, is Night Comet, which I think is actually a really good spell, but again, I'm not playing it nor a caster, so it doesn't really pertain for me. It doesn't really do me any good. Uh, potentially we die here, because I don't remember what this is, so let's have some fun with it. Um, buff this up. Okay, just these two. So, I like to get the one with the hammer first. We're gonna be fighting these enemies a lot in, a, in an upcoming zone. And their hammer is actually really cool that they use. This thing like blows out like a lick. Usually, when you have time to use it, but. So, look at their ass. <laughs> Ox flowing sword. That sword also turns into a whip, by the way. And then right in here, is this it? No, this isn't it. That's the Lusant's Glenstone Staff. That's needed for stuff later. You can also utilize it, but like Lusant, I think we'll meet along Velen's quest line. You remember the sorceress Selen that we saw in a. Uh, Back at the waypoint ruins and Lingrave. All right, so we did that. I don't know if the zone's gonna be reset. Hopefully not, because we killed the boss. We haven't rested. I don't think I rested at that side of grace. And here we go. So this is the switchback that I was referring to. There's a side of grace just as we get in there. For the most part, this area is handled. I'm going to grab this grace. Now, conveniently enough, they have a grace here. I don't even know if there's enemies that, like, teleport around up in this run. You guys remember out towards Lenny Rise. Also here in Caleb, those very large, uh, metallic-looking halls that come rip-roaring down at us, try and kill us. We have a couple of those on those switchbacks, so keep that in mind. Before I go any further, because when we get up top of the switchbacks, um, I think that's where Millicent is going to be. And I just want to make sure, in case there's anything as far as talking to Gowry now that we should be doing. Um, there's a bunch of dogs. Or there is like one dog, I think, close to his place, so be mindful of that. It's right there. And here's Gowry. Now, I'm more of a fan of the Millicent NPC, not a big fan of this guy. This guy, spoiler alert, I think he's pretty much trying to screw over Millicent. So. Oh, a pleasure to see you. I am Guy. I'd hoped to a strapping don't friend. <clears throat> Should you accept, I will teach you the secret. Oh, hear the request. Ah, then you are. I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. Resting yes. At the now, he says that, you know, she's resting up at the church, she's suffering from rot, he wants us to heal her, but I still don't think he's a good guy. Like, he leads off with this, so you're like, oh, okay, cool, let's go help her. And then he gets a little devious later on, if I remember correctly, oh. so... As promised, I've detailed. And we already found there's there's gonna be well well the Let me get through his dialogue so he's not talking over me. So we're gonna talk to him again, but basically taking out Commander O'Neill, if you guys remember, I didn't cover it when we defeated him, you get the golden needle. You need to give the golden needle to Gallery so he can examine it. Can you give me as well made as it did? So it's snapped in half, he's gonna repair it. That's gonna alleviate Millicent's Scarlet Rock. So, keep that in mind. Also keep it in mind if you pursue the Frenzied Flame and you decide, hey, I don't wanna actually beat the game on Frenzied Flame. I wanna do something else. I think later, 
very much towards the end of the game you can actually utilize that on yourself to alleviate the frenzy flame and then you would have like a normal ending so some stuff to keep in mind for late game that pertains to this quest line since we're starting it now so he needs some time since he needs some time since we haven't rested we're just gonna head on back over here anything else in uh celia i feel i don't even need i hardly even take notes for this zone because it's pretty quick to get through <clears throat> now i say that now watch me die to the balls as we do this little switchback run so we're gonna go up here he tells us that millicent is atop this but he also fails to mention of like oh yeah hey there's these giant ball things that are gonna try and kill you so just stay kind of out towards the edge. There's like little enemies I think that do end up spawning and popping up here. That's cool. That one didn't hurt us too much. You also notice we don't get like a big, you know, we don't get like a big chunk of, chunk of runes like we did at the other one so like that yeah like 300 and what 340 runes nothing nothing watch out for all the undead by the way there's a ton of skeletons and stuff over here is there loot up here no a couple of these creepy things that i fucking hate fighting to be honest but oh god Yeah, those centipedes hate these things. I think there's more of them too, if I remember correctly. We're gonna want to clear them out because right around this church is where all the uh, sacramental butt is, and that's what you need for the scarlet stuff. The boluses alleviate the scarlet rot. So right here, sacramental bud. Run around, grab them, grab them. I think it's one per bolus recipe. So like each one of these that you pick up is basically a rot bolus that you can craft at this point. Because you guys have been especially following along me and some of the caves and especially the caves. Yeah, for the cave moss. It's like pick up your cave moss. Make sure you have it. It's required. So if we look here just real quick, item crafting, we go over here to make this. You have cave moss, right? You need crystal cave moss, come to find out. So that's even more important. That's in all the crystal caves, the mines, things like that. So there is one that I know of that we've already done. I think it's out in Lorinia, the lakes. I usually farm up, you know, in my off hours, if you want to word it that way. But a lot of Duque's Herba, we got enough saved up for now. And then the Sacramento Bud, as you see here, there's a ton of them. So basically, between the... Siofer River Well, where you get a ton of Dewkissed Herba. We're also going to get another zone, I think, unlocked that has Dewkissed. As well, Ansel that River Well as well has it. Make sure you grab these, man. I just can't stress it enough. Now, if you just plan on using Flame Cleanse Me all the time, that's cool too. It doesn't cost very much. You can get away with doing that. But I like being able to just pop a bolus and keep fighting. I want to make sure I got most if not all of them in this little area there i remember what's up here oh i think there's like a troll or something up there uh we can pop up here starlight shards you'll notice there's a little thing directing us towards a catacomb i think up ahead of us up there like up against the cliff face or something there's like a hidden cave so i'll verify that before i start ranting on about other stuff but main thing once again just usually do it good circle here really look through yeah okay i think we got them all. I think we got them all. might be some inside as well let's find out oh yeah there's a ton of them in here what am i hearing oh Millicent. Oh, yeah. All the sacrament bud. Give me all the bud for the sacrifice. Give me all your bud. 
Give me all the bud you got. There we go. And grab yourself a sacred tear. Touch grace. Oh, nice. So, I haven't talked much about lore of Elden Ring. And there'll be quite a bit more to speak of at another time as far as, like, dolls and shadows and other terminology used in this, but my understanding, she is somewhat like a second coming of millennia, or at least she very much seems that way, having missed, missed an arm, she's being afflicted by scarlet rot, she's got the same kind of red hair, you know, that sort of thing. So when I have confirmation of Millicent's backline story and all that information, I'll cover it with you guys, because this is a really cool storyline. Her quest line starts in Kaled, and then I think basically from Kaled we see her again up in Altis. From Altis we see her in the mountaintops of the Giants. Then after the mountaintops of the Giants is usually where you go up and you use the secret medallion to get to the Hallig Tree. And she's tying in to basically get not specifically to Millennia, but to her other sisters that are kind of like you know second comings of millennia it's 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 a little bit strange to talk about with me not knowing the exact details but really cool npc quest line. Let's go ahead and speak with him well it matches my flesh it is a curse if you are why my flesh bro so my flesh withers with rot now that we're up here we're good glass do that will increase the amount healed. I think the dialogue is going to remain the same. You are why my flesh yes, but since we went ahead and rested, we want to go back into Gowry Shack. I'm going to go from uh, the Grace over by the Town of Sorcery, and then from here we can just run. Really don't have to stress too much now at this point. Stay over here to the left. Utilize your surroundings to block the incoming mage castings. And then Skyrim up this. Avoid the dog. Now we should be able to talk to Gowry. There is a point also where like you first talk to him, and then you can just exit out the game, reload the game, and you should be good. But if he doesn't have the needle for me, that's what we're going to do. I have awaited you. The needle is will you give it, I will reward. Okay, so now he's repaired it. Yeah, and he's saying just go up and give her the needle. Church of the Plague. And the nice thing about this... Check this out. Oh! Wait a minute. No, it looks like it looks like the ones inside the church are one time spawn only. I would have expected those to respawn. Oh, very interesting. So yeah, there's still some sacramental bud out back and around it, so you can still farm it here. Anyways, we want to give her the golden needle. My flesh, bro. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But how? <laughs> Never mind. I would rather trust you than simply can. Would you mind? You're gonna stab herself with the needle. You're gonna get a little sleepy. Well. She's out for a little bit. Now she's good after a quick rest. Hello, my dear. Or things missing in her. I hoped to see you again. My apologies. For when last we met, everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this. 
Prosthesis wearer heirloom. I'm considering with the needle bury my destiny. It's all thanks to my name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering with the need of my destiny. So from there, rest. She's now gone. We'll go back to... I guess we can go from here. A slightly more straight and forward route. Oh wait, no, that's up the stairs. Eh, whatever. We're gonna run back through. I don't think there's another side of grace around here. I could be entirely wrong, to be honest. Whoa. Whoa, where am I going? We're just gonna keep it moving. Not to worry about anything in here. We got all of our loot, like I said, so. Yeah, we in good shape. At least all the loot that I remember being here. Maybe we missed some little stuff. Possible. And now here at Gallery Shack, we have Millicent. Hello. Long time no see. Oh, something about this. So I decided to pay a visit, but I've only found perhaps before my depart. Well, I must focus on my. I must. Well, I must focus. I must stay. Okay, so now from here, system, quick game. Take us back to the home screen. Bum, 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 bum. And this is a step that you're going to want to do. There's no point in going back to another side of grace and running around, stuff like that. It's just a faster way of doing it. So now Gallery should be back in the shack. There he is. Thank you for giving the needle. Now I understand her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint. As thanks are the lost sorceries of the Salians, descendants of the Eternal. So now, study some sorceries. Um, I've heard Night Maiden Mist is pretty cool, but I don't, again, I don't have Int. I'm not a caster. So this whole zone's really not for your boy, but we just got to get it done for Millicent's quest. Let him know that Millicent paid a visit. Oh, you, indeed, Millicent did visit. The, it seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No. She must embark on her journey. As I've aged, I've found the history to be forgotten. Hmm. Perhaps I read into this guy the wrong way the first time. I was saying he's like such a bad guy, all this and that. He don't seem that way. I don't know why that is. So I think Millicent is now like headed out on her journey and stuff like that. I'm just going to double check that we got her storyline progressed. It's not here. And let's go back to let's do the understair real fast. Just being thorough here. Just being a little thorough. Do -do 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 -do. Please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed. Like her mother, she has the stuff to be a great warrior, but commands only one arm and is here. All right, well, all right, real quick, everybody, uh, I ended my recording, but I actually forgot to do a couple small things over here in the town of Celia. There's also a cave that we're going to do just behind, let me actually go, uh, go here. <clears throat> so you guys remember we cleared the three towers, I forgot to grab one of the chests in which has like a reward for us. There's going to be some enemies back here we're going to want to take out first, but... 
Like a Nicholas Lily. Got this dude. The imbued sword. The imbued sword key. So definitely grab that. That's for the four bell threes to activate those. We'll want to do that a little bit later on. And from here, we can go to Celia Understair. And clear this cave because the boss at the end of this cave can get a really nice uh, belt bearing from. It'll allow you to buy somber ones and twos at an unlimited amount. Um, we also get smithing stone sevens. We get some smithing stone fives in here. All the good stuff that we need. Let's see. Here. Want. Okay, is it right here? No, it's not. Where am I? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> so, this is the Celia Crystal Tunnel. During our initial guarding guide in the first few episodes, we had, <clears throat> we had been sent over here to this tunnel basically against our will. <laughs> this is how you get into it. You're going to climb up and proceed through. We already grabbed the item that's over there, so... Yeah, just head on up. Now, again, we've already been here, but we didn't clear anything. There's these centipede guys that were a huge threat to us. Still a threat to us, let's be honest, but... We'll be able to get through this in a mu much more convenient fashion. So, ignore everybody and all the loot for right now. There's a... Awful of these centipede guys who want to kill first. And there's another one up here. There's a couple of them, it looks like. Yeah, I can just take these guys out first. Don't worry about the mine, mining guys. Oh, was that the dead one I was seeing? Oh, that was the dead one I was seeing, okay. From the top row. So the cracked crystal isn't necessarily what we want to be eyeful of or mindful of. We can use that for other recipes and stuff, but the main thing I'm looking for is like crystal cave moss, because I always like having those boluses that get rid of the scarlet rock on hand. Come up here. Oh, we got their staff. That's pretty cool. Smithing stone five. Yeah. Give me that one too. Give me this one too. Another smithing stone five. Flint stone scrap. Oh, there's a smithing stone back there. I'd did not even know was back here. How oh, interesting. I think I've missed this on every playthrough. That's another Smithing Stone 5. Perfect. Some upgrades for our weapon here soon. Back to Crystal. I'm gonna grab it. Don't really think I need it, but... Yeah. Why not? Um, go from here. Grab this. Oh, we already got that. There's some Glintstone stuff. Now, what about... I think we got everything. Just want to make sure. <clears throat> we hop there, we hop there, yeah, okay. 
So progression wise, you're gonna go this way. Uh -huh, up here. You don't have to worry about that. Oh my god, we actually made it though? That's pretty sick. There's some cuckoo glintstones. There's another path we're gonna take to get to this, but um, now we don't have to double back. That's pretty cool. And then a uh, big guy trying to ambush us from the right. Don't let that hit you. Those are kind of tanky. Get them down. Glintstone scrap. Another smithing stone five. And that's, you know, that's around what we're going to need right now. We need smithing stones four, five, six, and onward. So we already have an unlimited supply of ones and twos. This is also why we do the cave at this time. So we get our upgrade materials that we need. Is there anything over here? I've never checked. Yeah. Anyway, climb on up. There's an item just behind us. Go ahead and grab that. Number four. So from here, there's a way to like drop back down. So like you would go across the bridge and you would drop down kind of facing towards us like this. And then that'll get you to the beam where the cuckoo glint stones were. And then right here to the left on that ladder, that's what we're going for right now. Go ahead and pop the just so I have the help. We're gonna go over here. You'll notice the centipede guy. He'll probably drop. No, maybe not. Oh yeah, anyway, get them down. Grab your smithing stones. You get a ton of smithing stone fives. Grab this. Rock blaster. Again, not a caster, so I wouldn't know. But um, again, just to showcase it, there you go. You can drop down. You can get the cuckoo glint stones. Um, what did you drop? I did early the flower? Okay. Head on up here. Sit. I don't think we need any of those on at this time. Over in four. Bomber. Throw this on for right now. See if we don't get through these guys a little more easily. Um. Now wait. I'm gonna try and save my flash for the boss fight. So. Getting into here, you're like, oh yeah, cool. Blue. Well, <laughs> there's going to be a couple of those centipede things praying up to our right around the corner. You're going to focus this room out here to the left and hit this thing. There you go. Could not have gone better. Mything stone four. Dragon one grease. So, Faithful's Canvas Talisman uh, raises Dexterity, raises Faith. We already have those. Oh, wait, where's the one that I'm looking for? Here we are. Uh, raises Potency of Incantations. Yeah, pretty cool. What is Faith, if not an affirmation? <laughs> so, for the Faith players out there specifying with incantations, there you go. That'll help you out in your journey make sure oh i almost missed one we almost missed one smithing stone five all right now up ahead of us uh this boss he can be a little bit difficult um i don't know how we're gonna do against him to be completely honest so we're obviously we're about to find out um this is one of the falling star beasts i believe is what their names are and they're pretty tanky, so I'm just going to uh, let Flame Blade up. I'm 
gonna call in my summons for this one for sure. what I know how to do. Oh god. Holy shit, he's just fucking me up. We actually beat this guy right now. He's such a freaking tank. Somber Smithing Stone 6, Smithing Stone 7, Gravity Stone Chunk, and we also have the Somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing, which is what we want access to to get Somber 1 and 2's unlimited supply. Oh yeah. Um, I think now, now we're going to be where we want to be as far as, you know, progressing Ronnie and going out for Radon, so I think, you know what, before we wrap... Let's head over to Round Table Hold because it's been a while since we've been there. Okay. Now back at the Round Table Hold, we're gonna go to our inventory and uh, just a couple rune items, just get some 34,000. Cutting a little close. We have enough. I need 200 more runes, it's crazy. Okay. There we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. that and inventory use all of these so I can upgrade rooms together we'll end the recording here I guess and that uh, when we come back we'll actually upgrade the weapons and we'll continue some of the progression for the running the witch quest line as we'll get into the Radon boss fight so that's like next next stuff to come next couple of episodes if not in the next episode so see you guys then